So in this video we are going to discuss about the most probable and most sought question and I have already covered a video on boiler where all the probable questions that are asked in exam MU exam oral I have covered it whether it is blowdown of boiler whether it is boiler water test scum blowdown all the probable questions safety mountings but here we have confined our discussion to the safeties and alarms and trips only all together as per the demand of the viewers so boiler safety valve I have also covered a diff video on the difference between boiler safety valve uh, sorry safety valve and relief valve you can watch that too there are very fine and minute difference between both of them so there are boiler safety valve okay a marine boiler could have two to six safety valve mounted on itself based on its overall size as per the solace chapter 2 2 there should be at least minimum of two safety valves fitted on each boiler and steam generator they should be regularly inspected and maintained against corrosion sticking of the valve these valves are generally set to lift at stream uh, stream pressure three percent higher than normal okay we have alarms and trips we'll be discussing down we have boiler vents okay vents are also provided but it can implode to under some condition uh, one of which include cooling the boiler without venting the system thus boiler vents are provided to protect the system from possible implosion so it prevents the implosion or explosion this happens because the volume of steam is much larger than that, that of water now when a large amount of steam get condensed under a short amount of time and negative pressure becomes inside the steam drum there is a vacuum creation if not check this negative pressure can become too high and the boiler will self implode okay so to avoid this condition so we have boiler vents are provided then we have pressure gauges other than safety valve and various alarms and trip install it is various gauges primarily pressure gauges that help in the safe operation of the boiler there are various pressure gauges installed on a boiler assembly to check and monitor steam pressure modern pressure gauges is also fitted with built-in cutoff cutting features it starts and stop the burner based on set cutting and cutoff pressure limits so that is the case all boiler must be fitted with at least one pressure gauge but in standard procedure for marine boiler to have two pressure gauge with a line taken from steam drum to the engine control room okay we can see there also we are monitoring the pressure we have water level indicators okay now when we talk about important alarms and trip this is the most sought question you will find it may be asked to everyone all together so I have just written here alarms and trips which has that low water level it is only alarm low low water level it is alarm and trip high water level it is only alarm high high water level alarms and trips low steam pressure it is only alarm high steam pressure alarms and trip low feed water pressure alarm low fuel oil pressure alarm low fuel oil temperature alarm high fuel oil temperature we also have alarm low combustion air pressure alarms and trip low atomizing steam pressure alarms and trip flame failure alarms and trip burner not in firing position alarms and trip when we talk about low water level then since the boiler is converting water into steam therefore the consumption of water is taking place if the level is not monitored manually a stage will occur where the water will drop to a certain level and the alarm will be seen and heard then the same way it is low low water level high water level is alarm will sound when consumption of water does not match the intake of feed water via feed pump okay high high water level if the water level is not acknowledged the feed water pump will stop therefore cutting water supply to the boiler drum thus the feed pump stops the same way is low steam pressure high steam pressure these are self explanatory low feed water pressure all these alarms and trips are discussed here low fuel oil pressure low fuel oil temperature high fuel oil temperature now since the fuel oil should be within favorable temperature condition heating up of oil gives off alarm low combustion air pressure fd fan this is very important on and off and this fan trips 
Forced draft fans are used to supply combustion air to the boiler burner for complete combustion. But when there is alarm for low combustion air pressure, it should be seen that there is no damage to the fan blades and there is no obstruction to the intake of combustion air. Low atomizing steam pressure. Where steam is used as the atomizing medium, this trip will occur if any obstruction is in the hole of the steam supply or the pipeline supplying the steam. We have flame failure burner not in firing position so these are different different alarms and trips that are provided in the boiler we have discussed the safeties different different safeties that are provided we have discussed different different alarms that are provided in the boiler so with this your one of the very important question that is uh, completed thank you so much